Is Tesla's FSD actually safe? Yes. All right, everyone. That's the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, okay, let's actually break this down. With the FSD updating all the time and rolling out into new countries, we're getting a lot of questions about whether it's safe or not. So to help you convince yourself, or probably your wife, ma'am, stick around for why we think Tesla's FSD is safe. We'll look at data from them, from the community, and give you a bit of our own perspective. Make sure you watch to the end because we'll be giving away a month of free FSD. If you're new here, we're Joa. We make a range of Tesla accessories and we use our channel to help owners get the most out of their vehicles. If Tesla related content is your thing, please consider liking or subscribing to get more of it. Okay, before we talk about the data, we have to talk about the mindset of using FSD. Right now it's called FSD supervised, which means you're still in control. You're the driver. FSD is just a tool to help you drive. So you have to keep that in mind at all times. I'm hearing a lot of people say they don't trust FSD and that completely misses the point. You're still the driver. The car is not the driver. You are. That's like saying you don't trust cruise control to drive your car. It's like saying you don't trust autocorrect. If you send a message to your boss saying, I hate you, I ducking quit, that's on you. The reason that we think that FSD is safe is very simple. It's just like having an extra set of eyes on the road all the time. And that set of eyes doesn't get tired, doesn't get distracted, doesn't look at its phone, doesn't sleep, and it's connected to a computer that is running the world's best autonomous vehicle software. That's it. It's an extra set of eyes. Two heads are better than one, especially when one is running on a neural net and the other is just running on caffeine. Okay, now let's talk data. And first we'll look at Tesla's own recently released FSD safety data. I know, I know it's Tesla reporting on Tesla's own safety. So I've got third party data coming in a second. Tesla's numbers show lower accident rates per million miles when FSD is active compared to human only driving. And that gap is only growing over time. As of this latest update, they predict about 5 million miles before major collision versus 2.3 miles when FSD is not on in any Tesla with active safety features on versus just 700K for the average US driver. So this is a huge difference. In fact, Tesla's FSD makes you seven times more safe from a major and minor collision. That's actually incredible. On the right hand side, you've got the miles driven before a minor collision. So that's 1.5 million miles with FSD on 741K with Tesla driven manually, but active safety features on 308 K with Tesla driven manually, no active safety features on, and then 229 K for your average US driver. So according to Tesla, you got seven times fewer major collisions and minor collisions, and then five times fewer off highway collisions. For a more neutral position, let's look at the Tesla FSD community tracker created by someone in the community using data that drivers all over the US supply to them centrally. Okay, so this software, what it does, it tracks disengagements, clean drives, weird moments, basically anything is in there. And overall, what they're also showing is disengagement rates continually drop, especially with the latest version. Now, of course, this community tracker has less data than Tesla's does, but I think it's super interesting nonetheless. I know a bunch of drivers in here, um, we engage with each other on X, and they're not all Elon following, Elon's a god types, okay? We've got some mixed group in here, some that are neutral, some who are pro. Every kind of person is in here. I think it's very clean data. Okay, in the first image here, you can see the percentage of drives with no critical disengagement continually keeps climbing. In the second image here, we have percentage of drives with one or no disengagements, same thing, continually headed up and approaching 100%. And then final, this is the most striking one, I think, the gap up in V14 for city distance to critical disengagements is incredible. This is still early data for 14.2. It looks like it's returned, but um, it's low amount of data right now because it just came out. I expect it to go up. At Joe, we've purchased about 20 Tesla vehicles over the years, and everyone who has access to FSD of the company is using it daily. I use FSD myself 100% of my highway drives and probably 90% of my city drives. The only time I'm not using it now is if I'm in a particular spot in the city, I know where I'm the better driver still, or if I'm in a rush and I need to just go. Right now, FSD is already better than me at three different spots. First is highway driving. Hurry mode is better than me. 
and highway driving is stressful and it takes the stress completely out. It changes lanes smoothly, quickly, and I arrive at my des destination feeling fresh. The second, like I just said, lane changing. There's no way for you to pay attention backwards all the time because we're looking forwards. But the car has got three cameras looking back at all time and paying attention at all times, something you can't do. So it's always gonna be better at lane changing than you are. And the final thing is parallel parking. I just don't like parallel parking. I just wanna offload that mental work to the car, so I do. You're gonna love parallel parking, ladies. So is Tesla's FSD safe? Tesla's data says yes. The community records say it's approaching 100%. And personally, it's been fantastic for me. Now, the thing is, you just need to use it correctly. It is another set of eyes on the road right now. It's called FSD supervised, because you need to be supervising it. So if you use it with that in mind, you're gonna have incredible driving experiences. If you're curious about it, I suggest just subscribing for a month, and trying it out. It's not much to lose. Just know you're gonna need about two weeks to get used to it and get fully comfortable with it. So give yourself that time. Another thing to keep in mind is if, if you liked it a bit and you're gonna be owning your car for five years or more, seriously consider buying it because the math just makes sense at that point. And often Tesla is offering these FSD transfers from an old car to a new car. Now to make it easy for someone here to test it out, we're gonna give away a month subscription of it to a random person. So just leave a comment below to enter that contest. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving a like. And if you wanna see more like it in the future, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and as always, drive safe everyone.